not mm-hmm. monsters. We're not selfless. We're trying to do the what is at the best interest for our families. Healthcare workers are defending their stance as they face a looming deadline that could cost them their jobs. Good evening, everyone. We are just three days away from all hospital and nursing home workers having to show they have at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. If they do not get vaccinated, they could be replaced. An attempt to have the mandate thrown out in the courts fail tonight. This could put a lot of healthcare workers out of work. Now, the governor's office says 84% of hospital staff and 83% of nursing home employees are vaccinated. That still leaves, though, about one in six who are not. A lot of healthcare workers have responded to the new mandate by getting vaccinated. Olean General Hospital puts its vaccination rate at 88%. That's up from 68% less than two weeks ago. But as Jeff Rusak reports tonight, many others insist they will not comply with this mandate and they made sure their voices were heard. An infringement on personal liberties. That's what protesters in Olean believe the state health care worker vaccine mandate is. It's the compliance that's an issue. It's the loss of choice that's an issue. Some protesting are unvaccinated employees of Olean General Hospital. I think it should be a my body, my choice. Joy Baker didn't want to wait for the mandate to go into effect. She's already quit. I said it's 100 percent because of the vaccine mandate. I said, I don't want to go. I was there for 36 years. Others are hoping something changes over the weekend. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to love my patients like every other day and, 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 and pray my heart out. So I don't want I, I don't want to leave <laughs> with hospitals across the state already dealing with worker shortages. Medical professionals at this protest worry about staffing issues when they're told they can't work. It's terrifying to me what's going to happen. The waits in ERs, the lack of care, the long waits for bells to be answered. It's terrifying. We are going to be in a world of trouble and I do not know what New York State is thinking because would you rather not have staff in hospitals at all and have people dying because of lack of staff? Or would you rather have healthcare workers that could possibly be tested weekly, wearing masks, taking precautions, and caring for your loved ones? In only in Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. Now, one of the arguments people have made against the vaccine is that it does not keep you from getting the virus. Others claim that catching COVID-19 can give you more immunity. But most doctors agree, based on science and simple math, that vaccination is your best option. We've had, over the the last 18 months, we've had just over 1,400 patients admitted with COVID, of whom 140 have died. That's 10% of the patients admitted with COVID have died. We haven't had a single admission of anybody with a complication of a vaccine. And we, you know, There's been millions of vaccines administered here. We haven't had anybody die of a complication of the vaccine. Well, the CDC says as of Monday, fewer than 4,400 vaccinated Americans died after getting the virus. That's out of 181 million people. And there is, at most, a 1 in 12,000 chance that you would have to go to the hospital for COVID-19 if you are vaccinated.